Dumb Ways to Die by Tangerine Kitty. I'm sure that most of you have played the game Dumb Ways to Die. This is the theme tune. And it's got a really cool sort of chorus which goes... Before we get going, let's break down the basic chords and we're going to start with your verse. Now, the chords for the verse are simply C, which I'm sure you're familiar with, and F. But the secret lies in the finger style picking with your picking hand, which is going to look like this. You can hear the little hammer on. I'll show you that in detail now, now but first of all, on the C chord, you'll notice that the thumb is playing the fifth string. First finger is going to pluck the third string, and then fingers two and three, your middle and ring, are going to pluck strings one and two together, and then back to the third string. So slow motion on C, or a different angle if it helps a bit there. Want to try it with me? One and two and three and four and... Now for the F, I'm going to change to the F chord. I'll demonstrate that hammer run later. So we're going to leave that for now. And we're just going to quickly demonstrate the picking pattern for the F, which is sort of the same as the C. The only difference is the thumb has come from the fifth string onto the fourth string. As you can see, the sequence of the following chords or well, the following strings rather, is exactly the same. So C would be from this, F. And you can hear and see the only difference is the thumb moving down to accommodate the two different chords. Now, on that hammer on, when we come from the C, when you go to the F, play the fourth string open and hammer on. It gives a nice little double up, and if you listen to the original on YouTube, which I think you should, you'll hear how nicely that kicks in. Let's try that together slow motion. I'm going to count you in. Two, and three, and four, and C. There's the hammer. And you can get like a double note, which sounds really nice. Okay, I'm hoping you got that, and your target speed is one, and two, and three, and four, and... Also with my picking hand, my wrist isn't doing this and it's not like that either. So don't get your wrist too close to the guitar. Keep it out and you'll notice that my palm doesn't move. Everything is in the thumb and the finger work. Now, the chorus. That's got a really nice moving bass line which leads... Listen for those notes as we go through the chords. We're starting with a C. For the E minor, you don't pluck the sixth as we'd expect. You pluck the fifth again. And that gives us that descending bass note as we just spoke about. A minor, you stay with the fifth string again. And again you can hear as it goes through the sequence. So one more time, C, E minor, A minor. Now, C with a G bass. This is quite a sort of busy chord because you have to use all four fingers. Your pinky has to go on the fifth string, ring finger to the top, and fingers one and two stay pretty much the same as you would for a normal C. And your bass note skips to the sixth string. You could, if you wanted to, actually just do that as well, because you're not playing the fifth string, so you don't really need the pinky, but it's a good habit to get into, because there will be strumming songs and other applications where you actually want the pinky there. So, thinking ahead, try and get the pinky inclusive. Let's take the first line together. One, and two, and three, and four, and... Now, the next chord sequence... The F to D to G, F. We're not playing the chords as normal. This is what you'd normally expect. F, D, G, and F. 
but the bass line doesn't sound as cool so we decided to use different voicings and a voicing means we use a different shape for the same chord so your F change and you'll notice over here now that I've actually got my first finger across three strings not the customary two like you'd normally do pretty good on three now when we go to the D watch this change first of all slide up a fret and take the middle finger down a string this is your new D and more accurately named D slash F sharp because the bass note, the name of this note here, is F sharp. And that leads us quite nice to our new voicing of G, which means we go up one more fret, and the middle finger goes back to look like the F shape. For those that know bar chords or power chords, same concept, moving shape, F, F sharp, G. And if you're going to go through the changes we need here, F, D with the F sharp, G and you can see it's the middle finger also moving in the change as well and then after that you come back to F listen I call this sounds slow motion Get a better angle there let's take that the whole way through now v uh, lines 1 and 2 of your chorus 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and your third line you'll notice that the last chord is now an E minor so it starts with a C E minor A minor E minor but for the last E minor you'll notice I've finally brought in the sixth string or I could have crossed over to the fourth string I'm going to go for the fourth string rather because it goes F afterwards there's my F and then G and it gives me a different sort of tonality, a slightly different sort of vibe because I'm taking different bass notes. So we try the chorus all the way through. One and two and three and four and... Third line. F to G and you're back to verse again which is going to be so what you need to do now to better practice is pick up a little bit more speed and your home drive now when you finally get to the bridge part where he sings dress up like a moose during hunting season don't do what these words say that's just a health warning it's dumb ways to die not dumb ways to survive <laughs> okay but when they sing that part dream up dress up like a moose in hunting season they're basically just one strum on each so you're gonna go it's a very unusual sort of rhythm because there is no sort of set rhythm as we normally accustomed to it's a freestyle so simply just strum each once and you got it but to explain it better jam with the original and follow the chords through for those that aren't familiar with F major 7, your F normally looks like this with your first finger being flattened across fingers or strings 1 and 2. When you go to F major 7, fingers 2 and 3 stay as they were, but your first finger goes to string number 2. Now you might notice over here I'm playing a very unusual sort of cheap guitar. That's just to show that you don't necessarily have to use a 20, 30 thousand rand Fender Strat or something like that that I normally use in most of my videos. You can normally quite get a cool sound out of a very basic instrument too. So get the best you can afford within your budget. And this guitar might be a cheap one, but it's actually one of my favorites as well. So it's not always about the brand and the price. Just be careful when you buy certain brands though, because certain brands aren't consistent. This is one of the nice ones in its brand. And I um, hope you enjoyed Dumb Ways to Die. If you've got any questions, drop me a WhatsApp. You've got the WhatsApp as well, or sorry, the PDF file along with this message for this lesson. And uh, have an awesome day. Thank you. Cheers.